Howdy, howdy again, folks. A-Train here with you with another episode of Sim Airport in Early Access. We're on the experimental server, and we are doing a Let's Play series. This is the second episode. We're going to kind of split this up a little bit here. Initially, I'm going to go through the plan. The star-spangled man with the plan deal. All right, so last time we left you, I started plotting out what the layout of the new airport's going to be. We're on the extra large map on sandbox mode, in case you uh, forgot. We're on the uh, 718 build. Um, I'd have to look and see. I don't think there's been anything really spectacular uh, that's occurred. I think it's been a lot of small stuff, although now they've dumped a lot of the experimental stuff to the general build. So you can see that uh, if you're playing the general build, you'll get all the way up through the, uh, the latest on the uh, baggage changes. So briefly here, let's go through what I've done planning wise. All right, so you'll recall we, uh, we started here on the extra large map and laid in space for a uh, large runway here at the bottom with a couple of spaces over to the parallel taxiway. And then uh, we've got a medium runway here with a couple of spaces over to a uh, parallel uh, set of taxiways to start serving our first set of gates. And um, some of this is subject to change, but I think this is pretty much how it's going to lay out. Uh, we've got a, a extra large gate here, A1. This will be the area serving it. Okay. We've got uh, room for benches all through here and around here. The magenta represents the exterior walls. We'll have our air traffic control tower here, uh, so we can punch up above uh, 10 flights pretty uh, in pretty short order. Uh, we've got this little uh, concourse or, or hallway leading to the jetway. Uh, these will be our ticketing areas. I think we may only have a, a couple of these, a couple of three of these initially, but we're going to leave space for expansion. Okay, That's the plan. You've got to leave room for expansion. The dotted areas in magenta represent the phase one walls, which will be the initial construction. Okay, So basically you see we'll be building along this uh, line here, over to here, down to here. Uh, we'll do the entire area out here. Come back around, we'll do a, a bit of bag claim. This will be a, a baggage carousel. This will be another one. This line here represents our security exits. All right. This is the security area here with the uh, queue lines, and this will be the typical ID check stand leading to a three uh, tile space for bag uh, scanner, and then the uh, metal detector at the end. This will be one restroom. This will be the second restroom. Those are for the secure area. And then we have a pair of restrooms in the non-secure area uh, covering baggage claim and ticketing. Uh, which will access down this hallway here. Uh, and this hallway stuff will work. I've tested it before. So we'll have doors on both sides so that it serves both sides uh, facing in. Um, what else? Uh, this will be our entrance and exit for now, but this is the main concourse down through here. So eventually this will primarily be an exit route as we'll have the entrance up here somewhere and maybe even further up uh, for ticketing. Initially, though, we'll have uh, some bench seating, uh, maybe an ATM machine, some bench seating here. These will be ticketing kiosks. Uh, these will be information, uh, flight information boards. We'll have a first class queue line. We'll have a uh, coach queue line, and they will be served by ticket desks here. This may seem like a lot of depth, uh, and it is initially, uh, but you start off with a bunch of money. We'll go in the hole, uh, but I think we'll dig out of it fairly quickly. We'll be able to expand fairly quickly uh, by adding in a couple more ticketing desks and queue lines and then we'll probably establish a second you know, wall space along here. Uh, I haven't drawn in phase two yet but that will allow us to expand to let's see we'll start with four ticket uh, security lines that will bring us up five, six, seven, uh, possibly an eighth one and then we'll probably do a, a second phase across here somewhere one let's see one two three four uh, so it will need to go here ish all right so let's kind of dot this in here just kind of give you an idea how the expansion is going to look when we get into it 
Uh, yeah, that looks good. We'll, we'll do that, and we'll kick down to this space here, come across, and that will give us... I'm going to leave that open uh, because I don't want to confuse the walls with what we're going to be doing. All right, so there is the plan, okay? So what I'm going to do now is start the actual build-in process, laying in foundation and whatnot, and we'll kind of speed that along. We'll put in a bunch of workers, and we will get things rocking and rolling here with our build. All right, let's see where we're at here. We've got us a runway built. We got us a taxiway built. We have a gate. We have a terminal. We have gate agent desks. We have some pending construction still going. Uh, we're going to upgrade the runway with lights, PAPI, and uh, ILS, so it'll be fully upgraded. We have a few more benches, flight information displays, uh, plants, garbage cans, a little, you know, 
uh, accessory stuff here to install. We're going to put in a coffee kiosk and a dessert kiosk. Although if you notice, I've taken out the, uh, the planning tool stuff, but let's just use it here real quick. You'll see they actually are not in line with this path. Okay, they're outside that path. So they are outside that space. We got a female male restroom fully equipped in the secure area and outside the secure area. Security currently has four lines. Okay, uh, ticketing, two desks, four kiosks. Uh, we will probably upgrade that real quick like. We notice we have no benches and baggage claim. We have a couple over here in ticketing. Why? Because if you put benches over here, I've learned morons will come in and say, oh, I'm tired. Let me go to baggage claim and sit down. Instead of just taking their butt through ticketing, going through security, and coming in here to sit at the gate, which is where I want them to be. All right. So that's a problem. Uh, people shouldn't get to the airport tired. They've probably been sitting in a car or on a bus for a while and want to stretch their legs, and then they're going to be sitting when they're on the flight. So they need to stand and walk around for a bit. All right. So here's what I did. I hired five more workers. I've kind of, oh, I've added drop-offs and pickups. Uh, I added storage, added in some storage shelves. I've added five more workers. We've got to get this work done. Here's the drop-dead time. It's going to be... 11:55 ish p.m. because going into day three we're going to schedule our flights all right so let's kick it up to warp speed here oh uh, you know what i may have made a mistake here let me think about this for a second actually let me take these zones off why am i taking these zones off that's a good question all right because if i have those zones there these stupid ass buses are going to stop there thinking there might be someone to drop off or someone to pick up if there's no zone, they're just going to drive on through. All right. So this first one will probably stop as we go to 10 times speed. Yeah, see, he thought there was someone. Psych! No one there. Oh, we're building the control tower, too. And here comes the truck. That's the key. we got to get the delivery truck in here. All right. So don't. Oh, good God. We've got stuff getting thrown in storage already. Oh, that's because of extra stuff. Okay. Um, wait till the last minute to put in your pick up and drop off zones. See, it's trying to tell me I need to build them. Well, you can shed up. Actually, I can go ahead and build them now because uh, I have gotten all the deliveries in that I need. All right, so drop offs we're gonna put right here in front of the terminal door, okay? What's this, uh, what's that strip of uh, blue you've got from the planning tool, A-Train? Well, uh, that, if you'll note, is two squares wide and it's two squares over from the road, which means that will be future road, okay? Uh, that's what's gonna be going there. All right, uh, we got drop-offs, we need pickups. We're gonna pick, put pickups a little further down so that our vehicles that drop off can then move a little bit and get out of the way to go do their pickups, okay? You want a gap between there, preferably a bigger gap. All right, back to work. I'm hoping this runway is upgraded, and yeah, it looks like it is. ILS being under construction is not a problem. The lights on the runway are the issue. You've got to have lights on the runway. All right, here we go. Time's ticking, five, four, three, two, stop. All right, full stop. All right, let's see. It looks like the lights are on on the runway. Although the wind is coming from the west. And... Those lights should be on on this end. It may have just shifted. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. Okay. So now, let's pull up the schedule. Move it down here. Grab it here. Stretch it out over here. Quit dragging the, the screen. All right. Let's move this on over to 4 a.m. Okay. And go see what our airline interest looks like. So, we have... Aero time. All right, we're going to start. We're not going to be bringing any big airplanes to start with. We're going to establish the schedule and make sure our flow works first. Then we'll go. And we'll probably wind up building a second gate and going even deeper into debt. But the point is going to be to get the 15 to 20 flights. Uh, get our pricing researched. Uh, it may be complete already. Okay, it's getting there. We're working on pricing. 
So we're still not going to get pricing until day three. But once we do, we're going to be jacking our stuff. Uh, and the key here is to make sure the systems work with the facilities we have, two ticketing desks, four ticket kiosks, four security lines. What's our passenger throughput going to be? Let's get that established for a baseline, and then we can uh, start working from there. Oh, holy moly. Wait a minute. There is a minor technicality that I have neglected in this whole rigmarole. That is the stupid baggage system. Okay, so uh, let's get this. Wait, let me think on this for a minute. God, here we go again. Oh, I gotta think about this stupid crap. God! Oh, this is annoying. Um, okay. I think we're gonna put the depot, right, chaw, like so. Okay, we'll put it right. That's a good spot for now. Good spot as any. Until we research roads and we'll do all that. Okay, so there's the depot. Let's go ahead and put in a small hub on this end for uh, bag claim. And if you've watched my other videos, you kind of know there's a basic way to set this up, right? Okay, so we're going to do small hub for bag claim, boom. We've got two ticketing desks, right? We're going to flip this around, and we are going to hook them up. Uh, uh, do I want to do a large one here? God, I hate spending all that money. It's so stupid to be that expensive. But we could do that. Then we could get two more ticket desks. And then we've got one connection uh, to a middle hub, which connects over to the depot. Oh, wait, so we know we need a hub at the depot side, right? Let's rotate that. All right, so we need this here. We're just going to put this here. This keeps keeps those extraneous runs down to a, a minimum. Okay. Now we know all we need. Oh, all we need for now. Whoops. All we need for now is to take the conveyor line, connect these two together, run it down, and to connect it to here, because that's a hub, right? Boom. That would connect the baggage in. We connect the uh, depot here and here. Boom, boom. We go from here. Oh, that screws this up. So we've got it twisted in between. So we've got to have one intermediary hub, I think. Oh, this is so stupid. God, I hate this system. Um, okay. Okay. Let's put a hmm. Oh wait. Never mind. I see how we do this. Let me think on it for two seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got this stuff figured out. Alright, what we do is connect okay so this is given right this is going to connect paint to paint blue to blue right that ties the depot into this hub this is going to connect paint to paint tie in this carousel into this hub and then we'll have this pink available for another carousel right the other thing would be uh, all right so we just need to tie this hub to this hub and these two ticket desks to this hub everybody square on that got it so here's what we're going to do we're actually tied this way. Oh my gosh, look, it's perfectly in line. How did that happen? I have no idea. I just pulled that out of my butt. Okay, we're gonna run this over here. Run it down here. Full stop. Went one square too long. Cancel. All right, let's do this then. Let's run this one up not quite in line then we can square away the, the final alignment I think we've got pretty much all the other construction junk done so hopefully 20 people unless they're union types can get this done between now and like 2 a.m. we're gonna have some golf carts running 
Okay, and we tie that together. Okay, so now we're good. Okay, so everybody understand how this works? Oh, shoot, sorry. All right, everybody understand how this works? Okay, blue to blue, pink to pink, right? But that's for your end items. Your end items are ticket desks, baggage carousels, and baggage depots. Those are your end items, right? They've got to be connected blue to blue and pink to pink. But your hubs are connected either to either. So either blue to blue or pink to pink. But it creates a two-way flow, okay? So this green arrow here to here indicates two-way flow. So bags will get dropped off at ticketing. They'll go to this hub. Then they'll go out to this hub and out to the ticketing or the baggage depot. Then they'll get dropped off at the bag depot. They'll come into pink. They'll go back through the green, back this way to this depot, and then they'll go into the baggage carousel. Ta-da! And now, with that set up, we can keep adding ticketing desks and keep running this up that way. And then we've got this carousel here, right? So then we'll be able to uh, tie in a second carousel. And then beyond that, it starts getting technical. And what we'll basically have to do is put another hub in between here to be able to branch out. We put in like a, a, a four point hub. So we'd say we'd put this guy in here because it's blue, right? Um, we just have to tie the hubs together. So we, we can put this guy in here and see how it's green still, all right? Then we would run off each of those pink arrows to another four port hub, this smaller hub, all right? So then that would give us a capacity for eight baggage carousels, all right? So that covers that end. We know we're good on the ticketing end. Then there's down on this end, which is where it could get a little wonky, but it doesn't have to because what we can do is use that pink connection here to run around to another one of these somewhere else and then we'll run off the blue and the pink to the depot and then we'll just daisy chain off the blue to another small hub and go from there so that's how we can expand the silly little baggage system but for now we're good on it okay wait we got one more thing we gotta do we gotta build a hanger and we're not going to fart around with this. We're going to build a medium hanger. Um, and for now, nuts. Uh, ro 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 rotate. There we go. We're going to put it here at the end of the uh, at the taxiway. Boom. Okay. That's what we need. So we got to hope our guys get this built. All right. Let's go back to planning here. So we got the schedule there. We got airlines availability there. Let's see what's going on with Aero Time. What's up, Aero Time? What you got? Show me 737s. Oh, no 737s. Wah, 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 wah. A Ford Air. Show me. Hey, hey, hey. I'm liking a Ford Air. I got 737s. Ah, I got one in the morning. Guess what? Bing, bing. You're first up. All right. So we hit that. We accepted it. Now it's up here in the pending. So we grab it, and now we can see the green. That means it's good to go. We're going to drop it right chaw. Okay? Notice a Ford Air is hooking a brother up. They got afternoon flights, too. We're going to take one of their afternoon flights. We'll accept you. We're going to drop you in here at noon. Bing, bing. And, but wait, there's more. There's a night flight. Oh, we don't have lights yet. Damn it. Oh, we're going to have to go through the first day without night flights. Oh, you suck. And honestly, I think the devs should make... 4 and 5 a.m. part of the night time because darkness hello so uh, that's what I think should happen all right let's see what we got going on here so we've got basically everything set up we're gonna have a jank first day we know we're hey, look we're in uh, we're in the hole money wise but that's okay because the sandbox so good all right Pacific Air, or we'll come back to uh, to them in just a minute, to Ford Air. Pacific, we know what they're... Oh, what? They have an A320. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> come here. You guys are now my friend. All right. We're going to drop this guy right in here. Now, I'm going to come back and actually, we'll goof around with this here. Go ahead and drop this down because I'm going to have enough gate agents to do this. So we're going to drop this down. Drop that down. Remember, you can extend this out to five hours and you can drop it down to 90 minutes, okay? All right, so Pacific Airlines, you are my friend. I'm glad you gave it, whoa, 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 yeah. There we go, 90 minutes. 
Aerostar, what you got, what you got? Ooh, they got a triple seven. Big. Oops. Oh, you know what? We gotta have a big runway for it though. <laughs> Psych. We do have a medium runway though, and we can take a 707, which is better than a ERJ or a CRJ. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna drop that in there. We're gonna use that two hour window for him. A train, why aren't you filling the schedule? It's a fine question. Here's why. Because I'm just gonna have to turn back around and lose money cancel on those flights. Alright? So um, you know why why spend why why accept what is it for these guys? Like why accept twenty five hundred when you're gonna lose five thousand? So you're gonna lose twenty five hundred, all right? And like a Ford Air is even more expensive. You lose fifty you lose twenty eight hundred on you know cancel a flight with them. These guys you lose thirty four hundred. So don't take flights you're just gonna look, it's you're gonna make money. It's just gonna take a day or two, okay? So just flow with it. Skip these guys, you know. If you really have to, just to scratch your itch, okay, maybe take one. Don't take a CRJ, take an ERJ, because they got, so, what, 90 packs? 75 packs. Uh, 90 packs on the ERJ as opposed to the CRJ, which is 75. All right. Let's go back to a Ford Air. A Ford Air, ah, they got another, they got a 707 and a 737. Hmm. Uh, yeah, you know what? I just hate having 707s in this game. This is like modern times. Nobody flies 707s anymore, except the Air Force using them for tankers uh, and other special aircraft, which I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. Um, we're gonna accept it. All right, twist my arm. You are gonna drop in here. Oh, you know what? Screw you, hippie. You can be up at six o'clock. I'm gonna take that other 737 as well. Ha ha. So we just picked up another flight. Drop him in here. And those are buttoned up against each other. Doesn't like that, but now they're green. Ha. Okay, so we got six flights. Uh, we'll actually stretch this doofus out just to check it. We'll just keep an eye on it. See how long it takes to process everything. Uh, the trick here is gonna be to get everybody moving. Okay, so uh, the last step we got in this process is looking, you're gonna hear hammers and stuff going. Uh, is looking at hiring personnel. So we, we have four security lines. That means 12 security people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. All right, you guys are done. Staff members, we got a ticket desk. We got another ticket desk. Down here, we got three gate agent desks. One, two, three. All right, so there's them. Uh, we got all the workers. Oh, we need a couple of janitors. So let's... Um, We'll drop them down here in the garbage area because that's where they like to hang out. We're just going to put three on staff for right now, okay? We've already got a CFO in the house, and they're finagling away on noodling on the uh, pricing, uh, which we can't adjust yet. Okay, so there we are, and we are ready to launch off for day one, but we're going to do that on our next episode. So, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're enjoying Sim Airport and Early Access, available now on Steam. It's like 20 bucks, guys. Go get it. I mean, you get on the boards, you can talk to the devs, you can affect how the game develops and everything. It's awesome. All right? It's a great deal. You'll spend a ton of time playing it. It's enjoyable. It's getting better every few days when they release a new patch. Uh, if you're on the experimental server, you'll see the patches sooner than the general server. And if you're on the Edge server, you may see something bigger than before even experimental. So Edge has like a small audience. Experimental has a bigger audience, and then general has the biggest audience. Right? So... I like experimental. Um, I'll jump on edge and check it out, but I'm doing my stuff in the uh, experimental server here so you can see kind of what the latest and greatest is. Uh, you can see down here what it says, 718. Uh, this is the latest patch, and um, so we're good from there. Anyway, I'm A-Train. Hope you enjoyed it. Please give us a like if you did. Uh, share us with uh, your friends. Let them know about Sim Airport and let them know about the channel. Got more great content coming soon, I promise. Uh, I, I've been working a new job and come home kind of dragging butt, and I don't have a skateboard, so it's kind of chafing my ass, if you know what I'm saying. Anyway, um, subscribe to the channel. We got like 60 something subscribers now. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much, and this is for you. Uh, you guys are the bomb diggity, uh, and uh, it makes me feel great. I mean, it's, it's just really cool. People want to see what I put out, and that's, that's really cool stuff. 
So thank you much. Uh, and uh, as usual, if you have questions about the game or comments or even constructive criticism, uh, please put that in the comments below. And uh, if you've seen in my previous ones, hey, I, somebody wanted a video on how to add a second runway, boom, I did it. Someone wanted Let's Play, boom, we did Let's Play. And I know it's been like a week, almost 10 days since I've done another Let's Play. Um, but we keep adding subscribers, that's great. And uh, I had a real busy weekend of working and um, uh, I had a pool party Saturday night, pool and pool party, and I had trains yesterday. So thanks for sticking around and we'll see you again real soon. Take care. We'll catch you later.